So what kind of teenager were you? Yeah, not, not, I, I wouldn't say I was terrifically uh, adventurous, yeah, academic and uh, oh, not, not one to uh, break too many rules. <laughs> what about political? I wasn't very political at the time. I became political maybe uh, starting around 1963, the big uh, Martin Luther King March on Washington. And I had a friend, one of my closest friends, very smart guy, um, also very academic. And he was more political than me at the time. And uh, he actually convinced me to go with him to the March on Washington, and that was sort of the beginning of my uh, political education. <laughs> the event that really politicized me was there was um, when Cambodia was bombed by the United States at the height of the Vietnam War. Um, there were strikes all over the place in universities, and a lot of university students and faculty were going on strike for some period of time to protest the involvement. And MIT I mean, I love MIT, got a great education there, but they're a central part of the military industrial complex. And the MIT administration declared, ah, we're on strike. And another paradox, and I thought, there's no way to resolve this. <laughs> they can't be striking against themselves. And that politicized me a lot. And then I started going on a lot of protests for all kinds of things, particularly against the Vietnam War, but also civil rights protests. I remember one event, um, it was a civil, uh, I, was, I was in an organization called the University Action Group, which was sort of like a graduate student version of the SDS, Students for a Democratic Society. And uh, we uh, uh, were organized around labor stuff, but also around civil rights stuff. And uh, we, at one rally we were part of, one black student gave a uh, very emotion-filled speech about how the same forces that are keeping black people down are going to keep all of us down if we don't do something about it. <laughs> this was reported in the MIT Daily Newspaper the next day as uh, uh, the student said that if we don't help out black people, they're going to come and get us. <laughs> so four of us from the University Action Group stormed into the office of the newspaper and said, we demand a retraction. That's almost the exact opposite of what was actually said. <laughs> right. But that was pretty typical of the media at the time. They would try to frame any uh, protest as insurrection. <laughs> almost typical of the media now. Almost typical of the media now, yeah. yeah. They like to see themselves as so much more enlightened now. And they're a little bit better, but... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>